Good morning. Today we're going to see 10 waterfalls. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, it's kind of ambitious. Kind of ambitious, I'm sorry. But yeah. <laughs> Come January, I'll be moving from the vicinity of Hamilton to Toronto. Um, and I just feel like I haven't totally washed myself in all of the waterfalls that it has to offer here. So I just really want to take today to relish in what we have. And one thing I did notice is that the low today is supposed to be minus one degree Celsius. So, and if I remember from elementary school, actually water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. So, but I'm pretty confident that these waterfalls are more powerful than that. I feel like they won't be frozen yet, at least a bunch of them. So we'll find that out the hard way. So we better head out because we don't have much sun anymore these days. Do cast your votes in the comments. Do you think that all of these waterfalls are just gonna be frozen because it's below freezing temperatures today? I have some hope that the waterfalls are powerful enough and that there was enough precipitation recently for it to happen. Okay, so fingers crossed. Oh, hello, you caught me doing a fit check. Today's fit inspo is Joe Para. Really into his vibe. Doing a little report of the week motion, if you know, you know. And this coat is to die for. I did buy it secondhand. That's the only reason why I have something with fur. So the first stop is Albion Falls and I'm just on my way right now. Let's freaking go, woo! I, I just haven't been to a waterfall in so long and it's always so healing to just see them. They're always so nice, even when they're frozen. So I think whether it's frozen over or not, it's going to be a pleasure. Let's see. Here she is, Albion Falls. I do love that she is so glorious with so many layers. I appreciate that about her. I think you can go to the base, but I also don't remember if it's blocked off, so... But luckily there's a good view from just after the parking lot. So you can come here when you're having a hard day and just stare at her beauty and feel a little bit better about life. That's how it worked for me anyways. It's very pretty. <laughs> Next up is Buttermilk Falls. I was kind of expecting something Vogue to be happening with this one, but it's very unassuming. With a name like Buttermilk, I just assumed, like, I just thought there might be, like, a farm next door or something, but nope. It's just under a bridge. Nothing wrong with that. It's got a beautiful gourd to match it. Really adds to the drama. This one was difficult to see as well. I did have to walk out onto a bit of a cliff. Please don't tell my mother about that. But it was worth it. And it wasn't that bad of a cliff. Okay, it wasn't that bad of a cliff. Okay. And again, very tall. I can imagine her on a very precipitous day being absolutely godlike. But today, just a little bit unassuming, and that's okay. Me too. Nice little view. All the trees are brown and dead right now, and that's fine. Just, uh, I'm excited for some frost to come visit us. It's so funny, the stuff under the shadow hasn't melted yet. It's so muddy today also. So I got to Devil's Punch Bowl, but um, but you have to pay for parking and I just really don't feel like doing that, so we're just gonna go to the next one, okay? Sorry, disqualified. Sorry, Devil's Punch Bowl is disqualified. And I, there's too many other waterfalls I wanna hit up today, and I'm not gonna be there very long anyway, so. I don't know, and I've been there before, you know. It's cool. It's like a punch bowl. This next one, Vaver Falls, is in like a suburban area, so it feels kind of weird, I feel like. Um, certainly I'm not trespassing, I don't think. Anyway, let's go check it out, finally! Uh, we're, now we are, we're, we need to find two replacement falls, and I think I can do it, but 
I'm just racing the sun today as well. So let's get, let's just go and see this thing. Let's get, go and see this awesome waterfall. So it looks like Google Maps took me to the top of the waterfall so I can't actually see it. This is going terribly wrong. So those falls were a little bit underwhelming since we ended up at the top and I just like since I want to hit up at least 10 waterfalls I don't want to like trek to the bottom of it. It also looked like it wasn't seeing much flow so I just got to this new area and first of all the houses around here are freaking insane but um there should be about three different falls that I can walk to around here so let's get started. I hope they're pretty, I think they will be pretty. If rich people live here, like it must be pretty if like people pay a lot of money to live in this area. Like, So I have kind of high expectations going in. Not that, you know, every waterfall is beautiful in its own way, so. Regardless, they'll be beautiful. Let's go check them out, man. Let's go freaking see the waterfalls. I want to see the, I would like to see, excuse me, could I please see, anyway. There should be two more falls up this trail. Actually, the falls that I thought were up this trail were not up this trail. But at least I ran into this friendly squirrel. There was some other trails that they were on, so I ended up walking up this for like 15 minutes and then I had to walk all the way back. So we're at, um, we've seen four and the sun's going down. So, hopefully we can still make it to six more. These stairs almost ended me. I'm gonna get into it in a minute. I'm literally about to faint, like, oh my God. Dude, like I knew I had the iron. No, I have high cholesterol too. But I did so much hiking in Scotland, I'm like, I must be dehydrated. Like, I need water, bro. I didn't bring any water. I have this. There's literally a lookout for some falls right across from me. I'm just gonna go there and then, um, Try to find a McDonald's maybe, oh my gosh. So these are the upper falls to the lower falls we saw before. When I arrived, I didn't notice them because they were on the same side of the gourd as me, so they were hidden. Okay, that's five falls, y'all. Yeah! Ooh, I almost died. Almost died getting to these ones, but we prevailed. <laughs> my mouth tastes like blood, bro. Okay. We're gonna power through. Dude, I knew that there would be some challenges, some challenges in this, but I did not expect to get literally destroyed by this challenge. I'm so broken. Okay, I'm gonna try to see if there's another falls that's like really easy to see around here. And then I'm gonna stop at McDonald's and get probably a large fry. It probably isn't, you know, some salty fries probably is not good, but I mean, it's something. And, um, and a large water. And then we're gonna power on. It also probably doesn't help that it's the first day of my period. I was just walking up those stairs. Granted, there are like 500 steps or so. <laughs> there was some, like, some break points, some bigger break points. And on one of them, I, like, stopped 
and like, you know, leaned on the side railing. And then suddenly my ears started ringing and I started seeing stars. That's bad, like there were people, like nobody else had to take a break. I didn't see anybody else take a break. So I'm like, kind of a wake up call. I'm like, holy cow. I have a sleeper build in that apparently I'm weaker. You know, I have like the reverse of a sleeper build where it's like, I feel like I look like I could take however many stairs it takes. But dude. We have it. <laughs> Definitely not much water flowing, but... These falls I found just up the road from where we were. I had to find like some weird parking and then walk around this park and try to see if I could spot the waterfall within the gourd. Being above it doesn't give you the best view, but another day I'd really like to come back and spend more time at the foot of it. I saw a guy down there taking pictures and it looked like he was having a good day. Seeing like 10 waterfalls in one day is a lot, so it de I definitely didn't have time to like hang out at each of them, but it was a nice way to scope out each of them and learn what I wanted to come back to. Okay, that's six falls down. I'm gonna hit four more. If there's anybody that can do this, if there's anybody who can see 10 waterfalls in one day, it's water silk, you know, so I just keep trying to tell myself that, you know. It's the prophecy. It's my prophecy. Who knows what will become of me after this, you know. And I know we're not, we're not seeing them in their most magnificent glory. I'm hoping the next two, I'm hoping we can see something scenic. Uh, and it's, it's the ugliest time of year in Ontario, you know. Everything's brown. There's no frost. There's no snow to make things pretty. So I'm sorry if you're a bit underwhelmed by the waterfalls, but hey, but trust me, these next four are gonna blow you out of the park. These, it's gonna be really beautiful. So these are Princess Falls. I was really excited to finally come across waterfalls that you could just walk right up to, like that were just right there. They were on this pathway that wasn't very, you know, aesthetically pleasing and it was overlooking the highway on the other side, so not really a nature escape, but just hanging out with this waterfall was a pleasant experience. Very friendly, beautiful waterfall in its own right. And great sounds, great to just stand next to a waterfall and hear it do its thing. I really felt a connection with this waterfall. We are close friends now. Yay! I'm happy. <laughs> There's supposed to be another set of falls, just a 10 minute walk up. So, and it has a cool bridge, so I think it'd be worth it. We'll see. This is so cute, they have Christmas decorations. Cute. It almost looks like they're trying to stop it or something. I don't know what all this, all of that is. So here we are at another set of falls that were just down the trail from Princess Falls. <laughs> Not quite Niagara Falls. They weren't very powerful today. I'd love to come back and see them in the spring or after a lot of rain. I feel like the spring's a really good season for waterfalls. But yeah, just a really peaceful spot here. I really appreciate how I can just visit a waterfall and my anxiety just 
crumbles away. Okay, we better make it to two more falls. Let's go. Suddenly it was golden hour and I was really chasing the sun. Okay, y'all, my lips are chapped to death. There's only two more left. We've seen eight falls and we just have two left. Oh my God, and my face is so frozen that I could hardly talk. But first we're gonna go to McDonald's because I think I'm going to pass away if I don't consume something soon. <sighs> because I've been such a computer rat these pa this past month. I need to walk more. I th I th I I'm gonna be living in the city the next few months so I'll have a lot more walking going on but holy crap, such a wake up call. My body is deteriorating. It's embarrassing. Okay. See you at McDonald's. I'm in the McDonald's drive through It's on the way to the next falls, but the person in front of me ordered food for the entire city. So it's gonna take a little, just a wee bit of time, but that's right. A little bit of time never killed anybody. Maybe it did, maybe it did. But I ordered a large fry. And they don't do a large cup of water. They only do child size, which is weird to me in a drive through because it's like, I get it when you're ordering inside and it's like you're getting a fountain drink. It doesn't add up when I'm in the drive through Capitalism is cruel. There's no parking. So I found something, but I can only go for like two minutes. So... These falls are so nice. These are some special falls. I don't think I really need to explain. Just look at them. There's layers to it. You can climb all over it. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Literally handcrafted by some kind of higher power. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. The only bummer is the whole parking thing. I think the perfect situation would be bringing a bike, parking a little bit further out, and then biking in. Sorry, I can't get better footage here. We gotta go. They gotta be my favorite falls, but they're so hard to get to. Like, thanks a lot, capitalism. All right. All right, $11 to visit a waterfall. Uh, that's so frustrating, man. Okay. Last falls, though. That's nine falls down. That's nine falls down. Let's go to the 10th one. Let's go. Woo, woo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, folks, um, it's completely dark. <laughs> Guys, it's so dark. What am I gonna do? Because also, I just realized that these falls are kind of, you kind of have to walk a little bit to get to them. Like, I'll see what it's like outside. Okay, well, it's completely fucking dark. And this is such a tease right now because I can hear the falls. <laughs> Guys, I can see the water. Okay. <laughs> I can see the water. The way that I've been counting it, because there have been a couple falls that I went to, but I didn't count because I didn't see them. But I saw the water running in this pitch fucking black. So we're counting it, that's 10 in one day. <laughs> it's only 6 p.m. of course. But we completed that in the nick of time because it's so dark and I'm so glad I could see the falls. I could see them 
I could see like some highlights mixing with the shadows and moving and I was like oh my gosh we can count it we can count it because um you know we actually kind of went to 12 balls today but but I didn't count two of them because we didn't actually see them um so I actually saw them it's kind of impossible for me to get on camera because it's literally completely black outside so but we did it we did it a win is a win wow wow <clears throat> i am exhausted from that <laughs> we did it we really did it we saw 10 waterfalls in one day in hamilton arguably too many waterfalls in one day actually i discovered especially when you only have four hours. <laughs> yeah, it was it was more so ten waterfalls in four hours rather than ten waterfalls in a day, or maybe five hours. Yeah, most of the troubles I had were because of parking. Because we tried the Devil's Punch Bowl a little earlier into it, and I didn't go because there was paid parking. It's like... I just knew a lot of them don't have that, so why bother? And then there was one that we drove past, Billy Green Falls or something, and that one just straight up was on the side of a highway, no parking lot or anything, so that's a lost cause. So technically we went to 12 waterfalls, but we only um, officially saw a 10. And the 10th one was by the skin of our teeth, is that? something where people really say. I mean, I saw them. I don't know if you guys really saw them, but I saw them. And it sounded like it was a really heavy day for those falls too, so I'm really sad we didn't actually see them. But that park also kind of scares me because they might have coyotes, and I'm personally not down to have an altercation with a coyote today. This is personally my opinion about that. Just personally don't feel like uh, altercating with a coyote. Thanks. There's so many waterfalls in Hamilton, and it was so nice to visit a bunch of them. Um, I think they are, like, I had a lot of trouble trying to visit a few of them, <laughs> but I think that was my, kind of my own fault for not knowing where to park and stuff. Like, I went, <laughs> I went down this flight of like 500 steps because I thought there was gonna be like a few waterfalls down there. There was one set of waterfalls down there at least. But either way, I mean, there there was another set of waterfalls, but it was like a 30 minute walk. So I'm definitely not doing that. Um, so I had to walk back up these stairs and on my way back up, <laughs> I was freaking, I was dehydrated. So I nearly fainted, my ears started ringing and my vision was going yellow. Um, so I, re I really risked my life today for this. I risked my life for the waterfalls and I don't have any regrets about it, of course. But yeah, it was just um, a real challenge today to do that. So I'm just glad I had your support through it you know i kept accidentally being on top of the waterfalls and i knew <laughs> i should have known i should have known that i would end up on top of them because i knew i was on top of the escarpment so thanks for joining water silk on a waterfall extravaganza i hope you had as much fun as i did and i hope you didn't almost die like i did during it but yeah, I'll see you next time. Make sure to subscribe and let me know what was your favorite waterfall. Yeah. Thanks. Bye.